Alright, hello, welcome back to episode 7, I believe, of Ragecraft Insomnia. So, in the last episode, we went and explored the Isles, and I know I said that I was going to go ahead and clear all of them resources out that were over there, but I, uh, I decided not to because there's nothing over there that we really need besides cobblestone, but I'm not too worried about that because the only thing we need that for is really, like, pickaxes. So, I got my inventory a little bit sorted out. Uh, on the way over there, well, I should say that today we are going to go explore the Death Fortress over there. I need to light this up because it's dark and I don't want any more creeper blasts going on anymore. That's shenanigans. So, like I said, I was going to do, I sorted out my inventory and today we are going to go explore the Death Fortress thingy that's over here that I think is going to be the last thing to explore in this area before we go and see what that bridge is about. Um, I guess I'm trying to prepare as much as possible for this death fortress, so. Alright, so we're going to run over there real quick. Um, inventory is pretty set. I've, uh, I've done my best gear. No, I haven't. Wow, I didn't realize that my armor was that broken. So we're going to go back here and switch that out real quick. Like, so. I am actually really genuinely enjoy enjoying this map if I'm able to speak. Uh, we need a helmet maybe and a chest plate, but the only chest plate we have is a leather one, so right, we'll just keep an eye out on that. We take another pair of boots and another helmet just in case, you know, something may happen. So. We're going to run over and explore the death, death Forges right past the cemetery. And I have a feeling that it's going to hold a, another key maybe to uh, to getting into the next area. Because we, uh, we found the slime balls and we found the potions that apparently we need to get into the next area. So, man, do I hate these skeletons. And I hate whatever this weird lag is going on. Let me see if I could fix that. All right, I messed with some of the uh, some of the Optifine things and turned on some stuff. Okay, it didn't seem to help though. Man, I don't know what's going on with the lag in this map, but I seriously need to work something out without really affecting my view distance. Huh. I think that may have helped. I'm not sure. I switched up a little bit of things. And now, once I started recording, oh my god, it's so great. I'm I'm not dipping down below 60 now. I don't know what I switched, but something really made a difference. But now, when I wasn't recording, I'm at 120, and now I'm at 60. Nope, it's still happening. I, I don't know. We're just going to have to deal with it. But let's stop complaining about the freaking frame rate. And, oh my god, I got to eat. I have to remember to do that, definitely. So, I've been thinking about this, and as we were exploring around the sides here, I noticed that there was, like, stuff falling on our heads, kind of. So, I don't think it would be smart to explore from the bottom, the bottom up. I think we should bridge up to here, and maybe explore from the top down, and that might be the safest way of doing this. We're at full health now. There's a zombie here. Oh, that's a spawner. Okay, that didn't work out too well. Okay, thank you for that. I don't know how he got over here. They must have fell off of my pillar. Wow, this guy, they take damage to get to me now? I thought they don't do that. Alright, let's try this again. Without all these guys falling on me. Alright. Come on, don't do this to me. Okay, good. Oh, no. That's a freaking creeper. Oh, my... <sighs> Alright. Let's back up and heal. Maybe we should try and go up on this side. And let them guys over there kind of hang out. Low health now. Man, I didn't bring any hints and health potions or anything. I don't think I have any more. Alright, let's get right up against this. So that if there's a spawner up here, we can take it out. Oh, there's not. Okay, ow. Why would I do that? That was an accident. Right. 
Hey, guy. Don't do this to me. Alright, hello, welcome back to episode 7, I think, of Ragecraft Insomnia. So, I was just sorting out my inventory here a little bit because we are going to go and try and take on the spooky ghost house thing. My chests are all messed up here. These are supposed to be up there. So, we are going to go ahead and try and take out the crazy ghost fortress this episode. Alright, so I grabbed some extra armor here because my helmet and chest plate seem like they're going to be broken. And I just have to grab some arrows on the way. And we're just going to jump right into it. First, I want to light this up so we don't get any more crazy creeper blasts. So, we are, like I said, we're going to go try and take on that crazy death fortress. But I think it's probably just going to have some more stuff to be able to get me into the next area. Along with probably some loot chests. Because, uh... The other areas only held stuff that uh, that required us to get to the next area. So, I don't think it would be another wool area in the same, the same kind of, you know, intersection. Like two walls before, uh, before the first intersection. Well, at least I think that there's intersections. That's how my armor keeps breaking whenever I'm farming them guys because they kind of jump out and do that. So I'm just going to run over here real quick if we can. I got a couple spectral swords, the armor, the potions, plenty of torches. And so, and I also adjusted my settings a little bit. So I'm hoping that um, loading in these chunks is going to not be too laggy. You get the occasional you know lag drops it might still happen a little bit but right now I'm at 60 frames and it seems it only happens when I'm loading in chunks and moving to a new area somewhat quick so but I think I might have fixed it so I was looking at this and I remember that when we came around here exploring these graves there was things spawning from the top there and falling down on our heads and when I came over here to chop down some of these trees well I didn't chop down this one but there was one over there I chopped down. You'd see the little bit of it up there. Um, they were falling on my head. So I think what we're going to do to take on this place is uh, we are going to stack up to one of these pillars here. Right, he died. And try and explore it like that. And I don't know if I talked about this last episode, but um, the reason everything seemed so dark for me was actually because... Okay. Ooh, a chest right off the bat is because my monitor brightness was actually turned down so now I'm actually seeing brighter than what you guys are seeing which is pretty much just like any other person's YouTube videos but before I was seeing what you were seeing cool so we got a fallen warrior cap I will I guess we'll leave that there just for now and I'll, once I pacify this area I'll come back and pick up some of the loot All right, so just for now let's block off that Ooh, there's a spawner up here no creepers. Okay. It's not a creeper spawner, so that's good. Let's take this out. Okay. Okay. We got a backup. All right. Let's just take these guys out. There might be a creeper spawner somewhere over there. I don't want to get knocked off. Okay, good. So I'm inside of there. We are almost level 70, which is crazy. All right. And with the new... Actually, I'm playing in 1.7. I don't know if the new enchanting... Is implemented or not? All right, another thing. Let's block that off. All right, I just want to explore the perimeter here first. Let's sprint through here so that we don't get uh, attacked by anything. Ooh, there's a thing over there. Is that? An, that must be an Enderman spawner. All right. Hey. Okay, a little bit of lag. I'm not sure. We're not loading in any chunks. We've been here for a couple minutes, so I'm not sure what that's about. Right. Okay, not good. Not good at all. Alright. I'm not sure this might not be in a good predicament. Come on, just keep shooting all them things. Alright, no guys coming from over that way. Alright, they're vampires, so they're gonna regen health if I don't kill them fast enough, so just spam the bow. His name stuck around for a little bit. 
grave diggers too, huh? Alright, let's just get in here. Alright, cool. There's a staircase going up, which is kind of what I hoped. Don't look at the Enderman. Is that, uh, that's a skeleton spawner, so I think we're good. Alright. As long as we don't got any creeper spawners, I think we should be good. Right. He teleported. That makes me think that I looked at him. So that might not be good. Okay. I hope I didn't hit that Enderman with that potion. That will not be good. There's a lot of zombies. I want to take out that stupid skeleton. Whew. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Our armor probably broke. No, but it's very close. I'm just going to take that off. Whew. What's in this chest real quick? Ooh, another jagged blade. Some more provavata potions. Okay. Okay. Don't do this. That's not nice. Oh, I almost looked at him. Alright. Now I think we're back on track here, right? Ooh, another skeleton spawner. Yeah, now we're back to where we were. He's shooting me from up there. What a guy. Ooh, I there's, see something up there. It looks like a box. Alright, not good, not good. My health is getting too low. I need to regen health. Who? I need to regen health bad. Oh my god, look at my guy. Alright, I just need to stay here and not die. I'm taking a little bit of damage. My armor's not too great. So we just need to regen for a minute. Alright, I think we should be pretty good now. We're up to six hearts. Whew, there's gotta be guys up there. We need to get up there and get them destroyed. Vampires, huh? Alright, we're okay. We're in the middle here now. Okay. Okay, okay. There's a bunch of freaking Endermen around here. And trying to shoot that skeleton probably isn't going to make them happy. Oh, there's a chest there. Here comes this guy. Oh, yeah, he's just going to regen, so... Alright, let's destroy that if we can. This guy's sprinting over here, though. Ow. I think we're good now. Let's explore the section up here and then we'll move upwards. I'm getting some. Oh, I hate this lag. I don't know what's going on with that. Alright. So now we're back here to where we blocked this off. And I got a guy shooting me. That's a creeper spawner in there. Cool. Alright, that worked out pretty good actually. That's alright. Wow, that was a pretty good shot. I gotta admit. Alright, so I think we got this top section here pretty cleared off. It's not as crazy hostile as I thought it was gonna be, but that's alright. I'm fine with not crazy hostile. I was getting shot from somewhere else. I don't know where though. Probably down there. Ow, really guy? He's dead. Right, that was kind of risky. So we got spawners spawning down there. More skeletons shooting at us from down bottom. I don't like that. So where... Okay, okay. I was going to say, where is the staircase to get up? I feel like my field of view is a little low. That seems, that feels a lot better. Right. I guess we're exploring this section now. We did the top. Well, somewhat the top. Okay, that's not my bow. I think a skeleton. Oh, we could have got a record right there. If only this was uh, Pantheon. That would have been one of the bonus goals. 
cool. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, let's get out of here. Really? There's a stair right there? Alright, let's back up. Why are we taking so much damage? Alright, our boots are broken. We're still getting shot. Oh my god, these skeletons are so annoying. <sighs> Level 70. Alright, so there's where we went up. There's still them skeleton spawners up there, which are going to be the annoying guys. Let's make a staircase, just in case we fall down. Hi, guy. If there's an Enderman spawner around here, which I can almost guarantee there is, um, we might actually farm them. Alright, All right, let's go. This guy's gonna shoot me. Yes, I know. I hear him trying to shoot me. Alright, we're up top here now, though, so that's good. We're up by the chest. Alright, there's guys over here though. I kinda wanna take these guys out before I do anything. Ow. Okay, there's a couple guys over there. I need to eat too. They're all falling. I don't want them pathing up here. Alright. We really gotta get a torch over there. Alright, awesome. So I think we got this all cleared now. So the last thing we gotta do is explore the bottom, but I feel like there's a whole mess of spawners down there. So what are you? Yep, they're blaze powder. This item is required to get into the next area. So, oh my god. Oh, everything just hit me. Blaze powder and slimes. So we're gonna have to make a fire resistant potion because if you remember in the beginning there was that book splash potion of speed there was that book that said that there was a tunnel with lava that you had to swim through to be able to get to the next area oh no I just did that so we're gonna have to make a, a fire resistant potion that makes sense so I wouldn't have known that until we got the glass bottles Where'd this enderman go? Is that him? I don't think it's him. Alright. Oh my... That's... Wow. This map. So that's the top explored. <sighs> this frame rate lag. Alright. I, uh... I turned everything off. Just for now. So we might have, uh... Some things that might look weird. Ow. Like the water and lava because I'm using Optifine and we're getting some weird lag so this section is all explored too now so now we need to go down one more level and explore that but there's a staircase over here so we'll be able to explore this more safely all right what is down here is this lead to the ground floor okay whoops I accidentally paused the game Okay, this leads to the ground floor. Let's block that off, just for now. We already explored this, right? Yeah. Are these not the same? These aren't... <sighs> they keep getting unstacked. Stop. Potion of Vulnerability. Oh, man. I thought they were Provevative Potions, but I guess not. Another Jagged Blade. Oh, all right. So here we are, we're on this level. I, oh, I need to remember to eat so that I could regen without having to worry about it. So we got some of this lit up. I don't want to get knocked off of here. That will not be good. Creeper spawner, huh? Alright, we're destroying that. Yeah, now see, we don't got the flaring in, of the spawners. I need to remember to turn that back on. Alright, this guy's spinning. They look stupid now. They're just like little guys in cages. Alright. Let's get some more torches while we have a chance. Don't need to eat. Come on, get knocked off. 
or just die. Wow, I definitely could have got blown up right there. Or not blown up, shot off. Right, where are we at now? We already got our thing from here that we need, so we technically we could just leave, but I really want to, you know, pacify the area. Ooh, at efficiency 2 pick. They're always convenient. And at chest plate. That's awesome. Alright, that's a good find. So I think that should be it now. All we got to do is explore the bottom, which I'm not looking forward to. It doesn't seem too healthy down there. It doesn't seem like there's any spawners down there. It's just a whole mess of stuff. Hey, there's a thing here. An iron sword? Tunic of a fallen warrior? That's cool. We'll take that. Right. I'm probably going to come back around here now that all the spawners are broken and claim all of the stuff. But for now, let's, uh, let's get out of here. We don't need to be here anymore. I'm just going to assume that there's nothing, nothing there. And sometime off camera, I will come back here and take all of the loot that's in them chests. Because now that the spawners are broken, we once all them guys despawn, we won't. We'll only have like one or two guys to worry about that naturally spawned. Well, at least I think they're all gone. I didn't see any spotters down on the bottom floor, so I think we should be good. But that is cool. Blaze powder required to get in the next area, huh? I'm gonna go put this back real quick and then re-equip, and then we're gonna take a swim over to there and see what that's all about but I'm not sure if it's gonna be very combat heavy so definitely gonna re-equip and everything all right hey guy yeah we're getting to a uh, we're getting into the uh, oh, what's it called when you light up a big area and then there's nowhere for the normal mobs to spawn and then they have to spawn in like the smallest of dark places like there's a spider in there now but now I need to be careful because there might be some enemies over here in my safe house that are ready to blow me up so I'm gonna take a look around here quick before I let my comfort down I don't see any creepers though it's mostly what I'm worried about nice lag I love it it's so great I, I don't think there's anything I can really do about it Wow, I need to eat. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to re re-equip real quick. I'll put these blaze powders in here. There we go. He's probably the same guy from inside of that skeleton pen. So we got our awkward potions, our slime balls, and our blaze powders. Which means we are going to make some kind of fire resistant potion soon. But we're probably going to have to find a brewing stand, which is probably going to be over by that bridge, if I had to guess. So let me re-equip real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm pretty much re-equipped, and this is the reason why I need to really light up this area here. I hate these stupid guys that randomly spawn around here, but it's hard to tell what's dark or not. Um, real quick before we go, though, I want to readjust some settings. I know I did that like 20 times this episode, but I hate lag so bad. I thought my computer was going to be good with this map, but I guess not. Alright, so let me do that real quick. Video set. Alright, so now we can see our spawners again. We're still getting the nice, great lag. Uh, it's, it's kind of annoying, but I don't know what I can do about it. I'm not sure I'm not a Minecraft video expert by any means, but should be good We've got arrows or bows all good okay I'm not getting shot around here so let's just uh, juke that guy out so we are going to take the path safest so we're gonna go up along the uh, the death fortressy thing that we just explored and go up along this wall I think to get over to the what I think is probably just a bridge but I'm not sure what it's gonna be and I'm not sure if there's any more islands over here either which there might be that we might have to explore so got that chest over there last episode hey guy there's an enderman over here I, I don't want to mess with the enderman after the fight we had last episode alright I need to eat okay good he shot the skeleton shot the enderman 
hope that doesn't make him mad at me. Okay. He's stuck in the cobwebs because he's dumb. Did that skeleton die? I think this is the same guy. Yeah. Alright. Let's get over here. Oh, I thought that was a spawner. No, just some ambient lighting. Slow sand. I don't like that too much. Alright. So right over here, there's an island that I think I'm going to jump over to real quick. Yeah, because that's kind of where the bridge starts, so I think that's where we're expected to go. But obviously, I'm not going to take a boat over here. Really? I can't even see him. Yeah, what? Where's he shooting me from? I can't see him. Oh, you're up there, huh? What a guy. I hate skeletons in water. Alright, now I'm getting ping-ponged around, and I'm not about to die. Alright, back up. Just to take these guys out. Okay, now let's eat and regen. I realize there's that spawner up there, but I don't want to be in range of that right now. What is this? Is this an island that we already explored? Or is this that pillar? Yeah, this is just a pillar. But there's a creeper here, which makes me think that... I thought I seen a spawner up there. Alright, let's get over here to this chest. I don't know what that is. I think it might be a trap. I don't know what... Oh, God, there's that baby zombie that I heard. Alright, I'm starting to think that that's a skeleton spawner, so we need to take that out. It's kind of getting annoying. Go ahead, shoot the creeper. Skeleton. Hey, guy. Okay, not good. Not good at all. Alright, I need to back up and heal more health. <sighs> that skeleton spawner. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with it. <sighs> Not good. Oh man, those guys really ping pong me around. I need some better armor in my life quick. I don't like having to be so careful. Let me just regen some health real quick. Let me put this up here though. So that I'm somewhat safe. Whew. Alright. Yeah. I think it's because we don't have any more Fallen Warrior stuff. It all got broken. So I'm not sure why that water is like that. Right. I'm just going to jump over here and break it if we can. It's going to be hard to bobbing up and down in the water. But this thing is so annoying. Yes, alright, good. He's dead. So I think now we should be good to explore this chest. Right. Pretty sure that's a creeper spawner, right? Alright, let's break this and then we should be good to explore the chest. As soon as I make sure these guys aren't going to creep up on me. There's a couple of them, though. Hey, guy. He's bobbing up and down. Come on! Really? Alright, not trapped, oh, boats, <sighs> all that, alright, let's get up here, make sure there's no spawners around, alright, oh, I didn't even see that guy there, and he's got armor, so, alright, he's gone, a witch. Oh no, okay. She needs to go. Right. Witches kind of suck. I know how bad they are. Alright, when it comes to uh, really screwing me over. Oh, there's ghosts over here too, huh? Alright. Oh my god. They're all flaring up. 
Whew. All right. Kind of probably slowed down their spawning. There's more over there. Oh, my God. Whew. This area is not messing around. All right. It's definitely got some combat to it. He was on a half slab, so he didn't do anything. There's spawners up here, too. This guy loves his freaking creeper spawners. Alright, don't do this to me. I need to eat. Right, I'm still in range of that one. Oh wait, I should probably eat. What am I doing? I'm not thinking. Alright, so... It looks like there's something... There's two pathways to go. Right up there. Across this bridge. And right there. Alright, found the spawner. I hit him with a pickaxe. He died though. Alright, break my sword. Thank you. Cool. So now we get a fresh one. They're still spawning. Let me take out this one. There we go. Slow and steady wins the race, right? I'm not even sure what this episode that. It might be a little long. Alright, they're gone. So that, now this area is somewhat straightened out. I don't mind a couple ghost skeleton spawners, but creeper spawners kind of, kind of suck. They will seriously kill me, especially with the armor that I have on now. All right, whew, I'm so quiet because I'm so worried about dying. I never had to concentrate so much on a map. Usually, when I play custom maps and stuff, it's real laid back and you just hang out and play. All right, so glowstone. Hope this bridge isn't trapped. There's no pressure plates or anything. This doesn't look trapped. All right. All right that's what I was doing. Get more torches. All right, what are you? This is the hallway, right? Alright, swim up the lava in order to get to the Nexus. There will be an easy way back. The Nexus. Huh. The Nexus. What's the Nexus? And I guess the Nexus is like the next area, maybe? Or something? Alright, let's go break these spawners here. And then we'll see what's over here. I'm assuming it's going to be a blaze rod. If I had to guess. And I'm sure it's probably required to get to the next area. Ooh. Oh, no. There's brewing stands over here, though. I feel like that's going to be trapped. Recipe. Redstone. Alright, let's see what this is about. Crafting slime ball plus blaze powder equals magma cream. Yeah, you don't say. Brewing. Awkward potion plus magazine equals fire resist potion. Kinda knew that. Alright, so that's just telling me basic potion making, but I knew that already. Alright. This, uh, this might be trapped. No, it's not. Alright. Cool. Uh, I can't do that now because I left all my stuff back there. So I gotta run back and get that stuff. But that, alright. This place is kind of pretty pacified now, I think. There's nothing around here. We could probably take a boat back, so that's good. Um, so I am going to, real quick, run back to, uh, to the home base all the way on the other side here. I'm going to take a boat, and I'm going to meet you guys back there, and then we'll brew up the potion, and then run all the way back and see what this nexus is about. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. Um, I actually checked, and this episode is actually running pretty long. So I think we are going to save the Nexus for the next episode. Um, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the next episode. 
obviously we are going to go ahead and explore that and see what that's all about. I haven't played the first map, so I'm not sure what the nexus is. It might be the name of the first intersection if there is an intersection, but who knows. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like or a comment. I would greatly appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next one.